Hi everyone, I'm Irishy Mather and today I'll be presenting um, a webinar on senior-friendly work and volunteering opportunities. So today we'll be covering uh, a few things. First of all, I'm going to introduce uh, what the webinar is going to be about. Um, we're going to have websites for job opportunities, website for volunteer opportunities. Um, we're going to discuss some benefits for volunteering. Um, of volunteering and some additional resources. Okay. So the introduction, um, I just wanted to get, let you guys know that volunteering can be really fun and it's, you're never too old to work or volunteer. You can do whenever you want um, and do whatever kind of job you want. Uh, working or volunteering can help people stay entertained uh, and alive. Um, provide a source of income and other benefits and um, help you learn uh, new things. Uh, volunteering is an important aspect of giving back to the community and can help uh, explore many new hobbies, uh, meet new people and gain experience working at different places. Volunteering online can be beneficial for people that need help, especially during a pandemic like this one. Websites for senior-oriented job opportunities. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Government of Canada Job Bank. Um, you can search for different jobs in different locations across Canada available, in, available for Canadian seniors. Um, this is how your homepage shall look like. Um, how to access the website. So once you've opened the link, click on locations, this right here, um, uh, and set the location based on which area you're looking for a job in. Um, so I know a, a lot of uh, people uh, are uh, currently uh, in Canada or wherever you are. Uh, I know you'd want a, uh, a job in your location, so just the current location for that. So once you've added the location, uh, click on the advanced option um, that's right here. Um, and there you can apply any extra filters that you have, uh, that you want um, for a specific job that you're looking for, including uh, one of the most important filters uh, that's important is, uh, uh, is the, is the uh, employment group filter. Um, so you basically add in which employment group you're of. Um, so if you're a senior, you add senior. Uh, if you're an apprentices, then you add apprentices. Um, if you're indigenous, if, if you're an indigenous people, then you add that. Um, you can have more than one, obviously. Um, that's, so that's an important one you need to have. And after that, you just need to click search and this, it should show you all the job opportunities. So once you've clicked on search, a new page should appear listing all sorts of job opportunities for seniors right here. Um, now, the locations tab may not work. So the locations tab that I was talking about, it may not work for everybody. Um, so another way you can add your location is on the side over here, if you scroll down, um, there's different provinces listed here. Um, and you can click on any province that you're in or you're looking for a job in. Um, and up the page should load again and it should show you jobs that are in that province, the uh, jobs that are available in that province. And you can go more in depth and uh, put in a specific city that you're looking for the job in. And it should show you jobs in that city. Okay, so the next uh, job opportunity that we're going to talk about, the website that we're going to talk about, is called Workforce50. Uh, Workforce50.com is a website for Americans age 50 and older to help find jobs and uh, job search information. Um, search jobs by location or by employee. Um, okay, using the website. So if you scroll down on the page, on the official page, um, you can see all sorts of um, quick search options that you could search for a job uh, through. 
and uh, you could basically just click on any of them. So for example, if you're looking for a job in Ohio, just click on Ohio and I'll list all the job options in Ohio. There's many more like this. Uh, there's only two percent here, but there's more like these. So that should take you, so when you click on uh, uh, a quick search option that you like, say for example, Ohio, uh, it should reload the page and take you to a different page listing all the job opportunities that are present in Ohio, uh, sorry, available in Ohio. Um, you can add any uh, specifications like keywords, radius, and date, post, date posted. Um, click on a posting to find out more information and it may re redirect you to a third party recruiter site where you can submit your application if interested. So volunteering opportunities for seniors. That was the end of job opportunities. Now we're gonna move on to volunteering ones. First of all, I'd like to talk about the benefits of volunteering for seniors. Um, you gain a, a sense of self and purpose. Uh, I know a lot of times you feel like, oh, we have nothing to do or something like that. Um, uh, so volunteering is a great, great opportunity for that. Um, you, uh, you have uh, emotional and cognitive benefits. Um, you can develop new skills. Um, uh, you have increased self-esteem. Uh, it reduces the risk of dementia. Um, you have lower levels of depression, um, better mental health, promotes physical activity. Uh, you get to meet new people with similar interests and obviously there's personal growth. Uh, volunteer match. So the first opportunity we're gonna talk about is called volunteer match. Um, you can explore hundreds of virtual volunteer opportunities across North America in areas like health, and medicine, education, and community building that you can do from a computer, from your home, or anywhere. So it's all virtual. How to access the website. So if once you open the website, you should come across this uh, search options. Um, you can basically click, uh, click on any of them um, and search a, a volunteer opportunity based on that particular field that you're looking for. Um, yeah, so you can search by volunteer position or by organization, uh, search by cause area to find opportunities in line with your own interests and values. Um, input your city to find opportunities nearby or look, by, uh, look for remote virtual positions. Um, and then if you are interested in it, just click on I want to help to apply, apply for that position. Um, so you will have to create a free account in order to apply for the posting. Um, so once you click on I want to help, this page should load up uh, for you to log in, um, select, select an account and log in. Um, and you can make an account through Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or with your email address uh, and create a password. Uh, so the next volunteer opportunity we're going to talk about is called Points of Light. Um, the world's largest volunteering network, network um, Points of Light, uh, provides products, services, and research for individuals, nonprofit, and corporations. Search over 40 categories of volunteer opportunities, from mental health, immigration, refugees, to marketing, and buy your zip code. So using the website, from the fall volunteers page, you can search for volunteer opportunities by type, issue, zip code, or keywords. These right here, these are all, th these are drop downs. So you can just open them and select which, which issue you want, uh, want to drop for, or what kind of opportunity are you looking for, and just enter your zip code or keywords. Uh, that's the, that's the same link uh, to that. Uh, and click on an opportunity you're interested in to learn more. Um, now, this is a different link. So from the global network page, you can see a world map of partner organizations. Um, that's the link. 
is given in the slides. And when you basically open this, it gives you a, a, a map, a, wide, a world map view of organizations uh, where you can volunteer. Um, and you can just click on one of them and uh, learn more about them. Uh, click on an organi organization you're interested in to be directed to their website. Uh, the last one, uh, certainly not the least, um, is Virtual Senior Center. So similar to Cyber Seniors, the Virtual Senior Center allows you to teach a subject of your interest or expertise. Um, through live classes to other older adults looking for imaginative content and meaningful connections. So using the website, to sign up as a volunteer, click the volunteer tab, then click join as a volunteer. It will require you to input your contact details, experience and availability, then simply submit the form and wait to hear back. If you are chosen as a volunteer, uh, you will be asked to join them for an introductory session and attend online training. Volunteer with Cyber Seniors. So this is another opportunity you could help with us. Um, Cyber Seniors is always looking for seniors to lead webinars on topics of their interests and or area of expertise. Do you have a recipe or hobby you'd love to share? A unique experience or story? Tips on your field? We'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in hosting a webinar on something you're passionate about, please contact us at this email, info at cyberseniors.org. Here are more uh, links uh, for work volunteering resources. They're all listed here. These are external resources. Uh, for you to have a look at. Now it's time for a live demo. Um, the websites I'm going to be showing uh, today will be uh, Government of Canada Job Bank uh, for the Work Opportunities website. And for volunteering, I'll be showing you uh, how to work with uh, Volunteer Match, the volunteering website. Um, so for the first one, um, okay, so this is what you should look at when you um, open the website. Uh, this is your homepage. Uh, this is what I was talking about. So your location, you just click here. It says all of Canada or current location. I know a lot of you want to uh, pick a job that's near you. So just click current location um, and allow your location. Um, yeah, and then you want to go to advanced. So this is this is the advanced filter search. You can add in um, all the information, um, all the filters that you want um, for the specific job you're looking for. You can add your job title, location, employer name, period of employment, hours of work. There's a lot of these. Um, and you can add them in as per your choice. There's salary, education, or training, et cetera. But this is the important one that I was talking about in the slides. This is called employment groups. You need to check off your employment groups. So if you're a senior, check off senior. You could be more than one. Again, you could be more than one of these. Um, you could be a newcomer to Canada and be a senior. Um, yeah, let's just do these two, for example, and you can add in your benefits as well. So let's say you want health benefits. Let's just go with health benefits, and you've got to search now. So once you search, uh, you press search, um, this page should load up, listing all the job opportunities. Um, you just scroll down a bit. This is the locations drop down. You just click on the province you're in. The page should load again. Just a second. Yeah, there we go. And now it's listing all job opportunities in Ontario. Now I I want to go in even specific. Um, and I want to say um, let's say in Sudbury. I want a job in Sudbury. 
I'm just gonna click Sudbury. And now it shows me jobs in Sudbury. There's a hairstylist, um, driver. There's all sorts of different jobs that you could help with. Say I wanna help as a mechanic helper, just click on it. It should direct you to this page which gives all the information, um, when to start, um, it's verified, so it's uh, they're not ripping you off of anything. Um, it gives you the amount of money you're gonna earn, the, uh, the, the address, um, and all the requirements that you need to be a part of this job. Uh, and if you want to apply for this job, just click on show how to apply. And then it's gonna load this. So it's going to be different for every job opportunity. You're, you're either going to get um, a link that you will have to register to, um, or you may have to email. So here they've given us an email. Um, so you can email them and let them know you're interested um, in, this in this job opportunity. Um, but it's different for every job opportunity. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Government of Canada Job Bank. Uh, website. Now we're going to move on to the volunteering website, Volunteer Match. So this is what you should see um, as your homepage when you open uh, the website. Um, scroll down a bit and this is the sort of like the toolbar um, and you can search for all sorts of uh, fields you want a volunteer opportunity in. Um, there's a lot. Um, scroll on a bit more. Um, here's the location bar. Um, so you basically just add a new zip code or search for a city, and it's going to give you job opportunities near you. Um, so this is my location. Um, and now, as you can see, there's all different sorts of job opportunities here listed around my house. Um, Say we want to go for a specific one. Uh, let's go for disaster relief. It should load job opportunities for disaster relief. Disaster. So let's say you want to go for this one. Uh, disaster relief volunteers needed in this location. So you want to go for this opportunity. You just click on it. It should load this page. It should give you all the information here from when you need to start working. It's gonna be different for everybody. Um, and for every job opportunity, it's gonna be different. Um, it's gonna give you all the information here, uh, all sorts of requirements, all that. And if you are interested in helping, you just click, I want to help. The first page that should load up is um, the uh, email, like you need to uh, select which account you want to register with, or do you want to register with an email or LinkedIn or um, Gmail? Uh, that should uh, come up first. So you click on whichever one uh, you want to go with. I went with Gmail. Um, and uh, after that, this page should load up, which has your first name, your last name. You need to enter your zip code. Um, I need to enter your email. And if you want to get updates from volunteer match you just click on this tiny box here um that'll, that'll let them know that you're okay with receiving any updates or news about the website or volunteering opportunities and you just click register that's it um so yeah that was the end of this webinar thank you for listening